it's Taylor again from the SGEI offices here in Las Vegas. We've been spending a lot of time working on and talking about emotional intelligence. These are these skills we know we probably should master. We think about them all the time, but oftentimes we do slip up. I think about the movie Remember the Titans. There's a great quote in there, I'm sure you may have heard it. When Gary Bertier is talking to his soon-to-be friend Julius, and, and Gary tells Julius, man, that's the worst attitude I've ever seen. And Julius turns around and says, attitude reflects leadership, captain. See, for leaders, attitude is everything. Oftentimes, how the leader goes, so goes the team. See, we're the ones as leaders that have to step up. We have to step up and we've, we've, we've accepted the challenge of influence. And if we're gonna do that, we kinda have to accept the challenge of mastering our own emotions. And that's called self-management. To sort of be in control of what comes out of our mouths. And so very rarely are we ever gonna find a job or a, any situation for that matter that's 100% perfect. If you find one of those, let me know because I want in. So. What I'd encourage you to do is take an inventory. If you're a leader of people, if you're a leader of leaders that, ha that have people on their teams, take an inventory of the attitude of the people on the team. And I'm, I, I bet you're gonna find out that the attitude's gonna match whatever attitude the leader has. See, leaders, when we go in and we have a positive outlook, when we go in and we think about the good things as opposed to the negative ones, if we were to sit down and make a chart and list out all of the good things going on in life versus all of the bad things going on in life, I'd be willing to bet there'd be a whole lot more good than bad. And when we do that as leaders, you can turn around one day and you can kind of watch. And the people that are on your team, they'll be looking at things a bit more positively as opposed to negatively. So be careful when you're out there with your teams, not to commiserate with them. Sure, go seek to understand and have empathy for their, for their feelings, but be careful not to cross that line and commiserate and begin in this negative talk. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.